welcome back to the people that joined us yesterday and a warm welcome to all of you joining you today. All of you are Quizlet pros by now, um, whether that be by attending yesterday's con conference or just by using Quizlet in the past and um, being savvy enough with the platform to directly jump into the second day of, uh, of our conference material. So like I promised, um, with me is Matt, our CEO. Um, I'm just going to give a short introduction of Matt first, and then he'll jump right into his presentation about the Quizlet's roadmap for the future, where we are right now, and what we've been doing here. So Matt graduated from Cornell. Um, he's originally from the Midwest, and he was at Google and YouTube before this. So he brings a lot of expertise to the platform, um, and we're very, very excited to hear him speak today. So with that, I'm going to cede control over to Matt. Great, thanks so much, Rikvich, and uh, thank you everyone for joining us this morning. Uh, happy to be here with you. I hope, uh, for those of you who were here yesterday, I hope you enjoyed the, the conference yesterday and are looking forward to uh, an action-packed day today. We've got a lot in store for you. So I just wanted to kick it off. I just wanted to kick it off and, and uh, sorry, one second. Just Okay, there we go. I wanted to kick it off and, and talk to you just a little bit about what we're doing with Quizlet, what our goals and mission are, some of the near-term things we're working on, and then open it up for questions so that I can uh, answer your questions. So our, our mission at Quizlet is really simple, which is we, along with you, want to help people practice and master whatever they're learning. Shorthand for this, I think of it as we want to get everybody on the planet learning superpowers. How do they tap into the, the native potential, the inherent potential that they have, and provide them with the study tools that really maximize their engagement and help them learn effectively. And we're doing this in conjunction with you, uh, world-class educators, by connecting people on a, on a digital platform, by using the data and the algorithms that we have and then bringing together content from people everywhere. And this started, as, as you may have heard from Andrew yesterday, this started in, in humble beginnings in a high school French class over 10 years ago. And it's grown to a global platform that's connecting tens of millions of people and, and millions of educators. And I wanted to, at the, ver at the onset, start with a giant thank you to all of you. So we're incredibly proud of the impact that we're having on student outcomes, and we know that teachers are a huge part of that. I don't believe that technology is here to replace teachers. I believe uh, fundamentally that technology is here to help you in, in achieving your mission, which is to educate students globally. We now have over a million educators that are using Quizlet on a regular basis to help students succeed. And more than that, I want to thank you because we see you, teachers on Quizlet, sharing with one another. When we've asked teachers how they found out about Quizlet, they often tell us that it's from their other colleagues, uh, a PD session, a hallway conversation, an after, -school, uh, an after school session. We love hearing about the sessions that you lead, the conferences you attend, uh, we've been so excited to get to meet some of you in person at South by Southwest EDU and ISTE and other types of conferences. You know, we had teachers leading over six separate panels on Quizlet um, on their own without, uh, without, our, uh, without our, our intervention. And we, it's just so great to see that. And then last but not least, we see all of the informal sharing that you do by making your sets public and findable on Quizlet. I hear all the time from educators who who follow other teachers on the platform and, and regularly use their content. And these are people that they've never met in person and maybe even never communicated with uh, in real life. So it's teachers all over the country and now teachers all over the world who are benefiting from the work that you do. So you know, from, from myself personally and from us at Quizlet, I want to I wanna say and start off with a really heartfelt thank you. As for those of you who've been using Quizlet a while now, um, you, you'll know that, that we've, we've made a lot of progress and the platform has evolved quite a lot uh, over the last uh, decade. You know, in, 
2010, we were a, a simple online web flashcard uh, application, and we've evolved to now having you know nearly uh, nearly 10 different types of, of study modes and games. Uh, we launched Quizlet Live last year for in-class collaborative learning, and more recently we've launched Quizlet Learn, which is a data-driven adaptive studying platform to help really harness that and, and channel that learning. And so we've been hard at work continuing to refine the core model and build out more engaging and effective study applications for your students. And if you look at how Quizlet has grown over the years, we now have just massive reach. We see over 55, you know, it'll be close to 60 million unique people come to Quizlet this month, uh, in the month of August, as school is starting back up. Over 25 million active learners, people who are actively studying on the platform. And as I mentioned, uh, over a million active teachers on the platform that are using us day on a daily basis to help, uh, help people learn within their classrooms and at home. And the content set that powers this has really become astronomical. We have over 200 million sets of study content on virtually every topic and subject you could possibly imagine. I'm, I'm just constantly amazed at the, uh, the variety and, and all of the new use cases I, I hear and people tell me about and I see. It's just phenomenal. And we're one of the top websites in the U.S. Uh, you know, in, in, uh, when school's in session, we're, uh, we're within the top 30 on Quantcast and one of the top apps on, uh, on the App Store and Play Store. So we're really proud of, of the scale and the success that we've had. And most importantly, we look at how many people were affected, how many people were helping and learning. So as we look towards the future, you're probably wondering, well, what's Quizlet got in store? There's a really simple equation that I use as I think about how we're going to continue to refine the platform and build out new capabilities. The first is everything that we do is rooted in the science of cognitive psychology, of how people learn. The last decade has been a tremendous age of discovery in terms of how the human brain works, how we learn things, how we retain information. And what we're trying to do with Quizlet is use technology to take those learnings and make them applicable to the real world. The second is leveraging data. So you've probably all seen articles in tech and, and, and heard a lot of talk about machine learning and big data. And the opportunities to apply in Quizlet are just massive. So we have data from how millions and millions of people are studying in real life, in the real world, that we're then applying to things like Quizlet Learn that I mentioned. And last but ne definitely not least is content. Right? You all probably remember uh, not too many years ago where the content used for education was, was bundled literally into a physical book or a workbook. And because of the internet and Quizlet being a great example, we just have access to all of this rich, amazing content created by people everywhere that you can bring to bear in these bite-sized atomic pieces in your classroom. And so Quizlet's future is really combining these three ingredients of cognitive science, real-world data, and content from people everywhere to create really rich, meaningful learning experiences. We're really excited about our newest product, Quizlet Learn. We launched this uh, application on iOS and Android uh, back in the spring, and it'll be launching very shortly in the next few weeks on the web as well. And what Quizlet Learn does is it takes the best of Quizlet, various question types, multiple choice, true, false, written questions, flashcards, etc., and couples that with personalized adaptive learning for the student. What we're doing behind the scenes is actually using a machine learning algorithm to give the students the right uh, difficulty of question based on their level of mastery and the right spacing or interleaving of questions to help them as efficiently and effectively as possible master that content. And if the students give us uh, their, their test date of when they need to know this information by, we're actually creating an effectively a study plan to help them get to mastery of that content. We're really excited, and this is just the first step down this path of really making Quizlet even more intelligent 
and helping students learn in, a, in the most effective and efficient way. And we're trying to keep it fun as well. If you've played with Quizlet Learn on mobile, you've seen the use of uh, engagement uh, features like emojis and checkpoints to help keep people motivated and keep people going. Next, we're very excited about our new, a new product that we've been working on for the last six months now um, called Quizlet Diagrams. And for those of you who were here yesterday, you maybe saw a preview of this, but Diagrams is the next major step in Quizlet's evolution. So for the last decade, Quizlet has been great for text-based content, learning for facts and concepts, vocabulary words, foreign language, etc. But as we talk to teachers and educators everywhere, as we spend a lot of time with students, one of the things that we heard time and time again is the need to move beyond short text-based content and have richer content types so that it could cover more types of topics in, in, in more depth. And as, as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. So we looked and, and, and surveyed lots of people and saw that diagrams were such a powerful tool for all different types of learning. Not only does it give students a more visual representation, but you can start to see how these different concepts interact with one another, whether it be a scientific diagram, a process flow, a map, a historical timeline. These are all examples of images that represent a broader system, and understanding the components of that system in that broader context is really critical. So we're extremely excited about diagrams. We've integrated into the learn functionality that I just mentioned, so you're also going to get the best of both worlds, where we vary the question types, we vary the frequency and the difficulty level to help students really learn the components of the diagram and then learn the system as a whole. And of course, as I'm sure you're all familiar with Mac, with Quizlet Match and Quizlet Scatter, um, well, as we've been testing diagrams around the office, we found that uh, playing match on diagrams is, uh, is, is even more fun than, uh, than the traditional match. So we want to bring some, uh, continue to bring some fun to learning as well. And so you get a nice visual, uh, visual gamified experience that also really helps reinforce that learning. So we're very excited about Quizlet diagrams. For those of you uh, who were able to attend the session later today, we'll, we'll dig into a lot more depth, demonstrate the product for you. But it's again founded on the same, uh, the same basic principles that you can upload your own imagery and create any type of diagram you want. And we've been working with some of our teacher ambassadors and some beta users and already seen just a wealth of, uh, of different types of diagram content. Uh, some, some expected, you know, the, the parts of a cell and, uh, and things like that and some completely unexpected. It's just been tremendous to see the creativity and the broad applicability of, uh, of this new capability. So my ask for you today is take all of this great learning back to your school. Put it to use in your classroom. Get your students on Quizlet using Quizlet because we know that they'll do better uh, in school. They'll be more engaged in their learning. They'll retain the information that they're learning longer and share all of these great secrets with your colleagues. Uh, you know, our, our, best, our best way of getting the word out is having you uh, talk about your firsthand experiences and taking that to, uh, to the other educators in your school, in your community, and around the globe. So again, I wanna say a, a heartfelt thank you for your efforts um, and, uh, and hope that uh, you really enjoy the session today. And with that, we'll turn it over to questions. And it looks like the first one that came in says, this is, um, this is from John. He says, I'm a regular user of Quizlet, and every year I help my students get signed up as users. Is this necessary? Are there benefits for me as a teacher to have my students signed up, or is it enough to just have them link to my teacher-created Quizlet? So that's, that's a great question. Matt, do you want to take that one? Sure, that's a great question, John, and thank you for that. Uh, there, there are a number of benefits, both for you and for your students, uh, for having them signed in. For you, it allows you to use features of Quizlet Teacher, such as class progress, so that you can see what they're doing. You can organize your students in a class, 
uh, which allows you to see the class progress feature that allows you to see how they're progressing on the content, where they're getting stuck, so that you can help tailor your uh, individual attention to, to people or groups that are potentially getting stuck on certain things. It allows you to see those that are that are moving ahead, and you can you know use that information to help give them some more challenging uh, some more challenging activities. Uh, it also makes it very easy for you to share content with them. So if you have your students signed in, you organize them into a class, then uh, you can share content just with that class, and it'll go right to your students. They'll get notified. It'll it'll go to the top of their feed. So those are some of the benefits uh, that, that you see. From your students' perspective, the benefit for them is, and, and something we hear from a lot of teachers, is bridging from the classroom to the, the homework type, uh, type activity. So it allows you, if they're signed in, to start activities in the classroom, but then they can take that and, and study you know, at home on their own, on their phone, on their computer, on their iPad, uh, and that cycle allows them to go in depth and really get even more value out of the platform. It, uh, it obviously you know, keeps track of their progress, it knows where they are, and so they're not starting from the beginning when they go home at night to, uh, to work on it. Great. Um, let's see. Will Quiz Kathy asks, uh, will Quizlet Learn be part of and accessible to Quizlet? Okay, right now, Quizlet Learn is only available on our mobile apps, right? That's right. Uh, that's a great question, and, and I'm excited to say yes. Uh, we will be launching it on the web and mobile web versions of Quizlet very shortly, within the next couple weeks. Uh, we're just putting the finishing touches on it now and, uh, and have it out to some beta testers to, to work out all the kinks. But yeah, that'll be coming very soon. You can expect that in the next couple weeks. And just like for those of you who, uh, who've had a keen eye on, on mobile, what we did, we have, we have Quizlet, uh, a feature called Quizlet Learn Today, which is really just written questions. And so on the mobile applications, we've renamed that to Write, uh, W-R-I-T-E, Quizlet Write. And we'll be doing the same thing on web. So for those of you who are using the old version of, of what we call Learn on the web, That'll still be there. It'll be renamed Quizlet Write, and the new data-powered version uh, of Quizlet Learn will, will be coming in the next week or two. Great. Um, Ligia asks, do you have subscription plans for institutions, or only individual subscription options? Now, this is a question we get a lot, as people get really excited about getting Quizlet across their schools. We do. We, we have group purchase uh, subscriptions that you can find on our, on our site, and uh, uh, just uh, if you if it if you don't see it immediately, you can go to the subscriptions page, or just do a Google search for uh, Quizlet Teacher and Group Subscriptions, and it will show up. Or Group Upgrade. Um, but we offer discounts to larger groups. We offer uh, our, on our website. There's a process where you can actually create a uh, create an invoice, so that if you want to take it to the administration for you know for 20 licenses or 50 licenses or 150 for the whole school, uh, whatever the case may be. And then you'll get a uh, you'll get a group purchase discount, and we can do that through an invoice process. So that is uh, that is on our subscriptions page on our site. Got it. Um, looks like we have another good question from John. Um, are you thinking of adding any more games in addition to Match and Gravity? Uh, thanks, John. It's something that we get asked a lot. Uh, nothing to announce right now, but we are definitely you know my, my view is that. Uh, there's a combination of, of focused, you know, call it serious study and fun, engaging study, and getting that balance right is uh, is key to, to help learning. Uh, and so we we've gotten a lot of positive feedback on on match and gravity. And so although we don't have any new games to announce right now, it's definitely something that we're continuing to work on. Um, I'll also mention that uh, with the with the release of diagrams. Uh, not too far down the road, and it's not uh, not immediately, not within the next few weeks, but not too far down the road, you'll see some really fun things coming with Quizlet Live that might involve diagrams. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, and di I'll just jump in. This is Laura to say that diagrams are also uh, can be used in match mode. So it's not a, a new a new game per se, but it definitely adds a new dimension to using match with your students. Um, okay, here's a great question from Catherine. She says, I'm impressed with Quizlet and have seen my students benefit greatly from using the platform. Diagrams is exciting. Any ideas of what will be next? Uh, that's a great question, Catherine. Um, 
uh, lots of ideas uh, <laughs> in terms of where we want to go from here. Uh, you know, we we spend a lot of time talking, as I mentioned, with with teachers and with students of all ages to really understand what they're trying to learn, and then figure out ways to build the Quizlet platform and enhance the Quizlet platform to, uh, to to extend that. And so, you know, as technology continues to get better, we're excited to move into uh, you know deeper uh, other types of you know, I guess other forms of learning. So moving into broader based understanding. Um, you know, we're looking at how we can enhance the platform to deal with longer text based and more subjective uh, type, uh, type content. Uh, so we've got a lot of things that we're working on, so stay tuned. There's definitely more to come. Great. Um, let's see. Uh, can I, this is a practical one, I can answer this one. Can I get a purchase order for Quizlet Teacher? My school provides funds, but only for a purchase order form. And yes, so when you go to checkout, there is an option that says get someone else to pay. Um, and if you do that, you can uh, create a purchase order or an invoice for your school. I think it, our option gives you, it gives you the option to either print out an invoice or a purchase order depending on what your school requires. Um, and then you can use that to move forward with getting Quizlet teachers. So that's a great question. You know, different schools have different uh, policies. I think, he, and I, I'm, my, Amali, my colleague in the room is, is letting me know, that I believe you need to be purchasing two or more. Um, so for one, we don't do that. Probably if you can if you can work it out, the best way to do that is to purchase and get reimbursed. But if you're purchasing for your department or a group of teachers for two or more, you can get an invoice or purchase order generated. So hopefully that will help you um, get Quizlet Teacher set up for this school year. And uh, you know, I got a plug that if you're uh, if you buy two or more, you also get a discount. So uh, so it's good to get one of your at least get one of your colleagues to go in with you and uh, and you'll you'll get a discount for both of you. Okay. Um, let's see what other good questions we have. Um, I'm seeing just a heads up. I'm seeing a lot of questions about classes and class progress, and that's probably a great opportunity for us to to answer those questions when we talk about Quizlet teacher upgrades a little bit later on today. So stay tuned on that. Um, here's a question from Michelle. She says, I'm a special education teacher and I love using Quizlet. I do not have my own classroom because I travel to several schools. Do you have a suggestion of how I can set up a classroom for, for my students? I support students in the mainstream. That's a great question. Um, we, there's a there's functionality on Quizlet that we call classes. Uh, and basically what you can think of is a class is a way for you to organize a group of users. You can have a group of users join a class. And then you can also put content into that class so that all of the users in that virtual, let's call it a virtual class on Quizlet, will get access to that content. And so the way we, we see a lot of teachers or a lot of educators using that is they create they create this class. Um, they invite their students to join. So their students, you know, wherever they are, and there's more and more. We're seeing more and more of the, the virtual world, right? Virtual classes where where it's not as much like your situation. It's not a single physical group. Um, and then they can invite the, their students to sign up for Quizlet and then join that class. And then it allows you to add content to that class and give access to, to those students. And then, as I mentioned before, and, and as Laura said, you'll get some more details in the in the in-depth session on Quizlet Teacher. Um, you can track class progress, so you can see what uh, see if your students are, are using the platform and, and driving the activity and, and whatnot. Um, I will mention the other feature that, that uh, comes along with classes on Quizlet is the ability to uh, protect that or restrict that class if you want. So if you want to create content that's private to that class. If you want to control the membership of that class, obviously not let random people join that class, et cetera, we give you those capabilities as well. So I would say take a look at the, uh, at the classes feature on Quizlet, and I think you'll find uh, that that is very helpful. And you'll, you know, based on your situation, you'll, you'll need to decide if it makes sense to set up a single class for all of your students or multiple classes to group them, et cetera. Great. Um, I see a question here about our Quizlet ambassador program, which is awesome. Are we still accepting ambassadors, and how do we apply? That's a great question. This is Amalia here. I'm also a member of the Quizlet team, and I'm actually going to be talking a little bit more in depth about Quizlet Teacher, our upgraded product, um, in the next session. So stick around if you're interested in hearing more about that. 
for the ambassador program. So um, I manage this program, and it's a wonderful program for our mo most passionate um, and excited uh, teacher users who um, are, you know, really excited to spread the word about Quizlet to their colleagues, to the net their networks. Um, so yes, we are still accepting ambassadors. Um, the program is only in English at this time, but if you're on this call, uh, we assume that you can understand and write in English. So uh, make sure to apply at quizlet.com slash teachers slash ambassadors, and we'll make sure to include that link um, at the bottom of your webinar tools. We'll add that now. Click through that. Um, there is a pretty short uh, Google form that you will fill out telling us more about you know, how you use Quizlet and the, um, the grade levels you teach, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, we're definitely taking them. Apply after this and we'll send you a welcome email in the um, next few days. Susan says, I have been using Quizlet for the last two years in both in and out of the classroom. We'll be adding Quizlet as an added dimension to a flipped classroom experience this year. I haven't explored your site for ideas. Wondering if anyone has shared their experience with you. So I'll jump in and say our blog is a great resource. Um, we regularly run, it's been a little bit slow over the summer, but uh, we regularly run during the school year blog posts um, from teachers about how they use Quizlet in their classrooms. Um, and you can find those by looking on the teacher tag on our blog. So you can sort all the teacher focused blog posts. And I would especially focus on any of the ones that start with teacher to teacher, which is um, we, different teachers contribute uh, blog posts and articles about the ways that they're using Quizlet in the so they're not all going to be 100% applicable to a flipped classroom approach, but there's definitely a wealth of ideas on ways to use and integrate Quizlet into your classroom and what your students use here. So this is a good question from Beverly. Um, my university students really love Quizlet Live. However, sometimes they don't like the names on the groups. Any possibility of providing some more business-like group names? So that's a great question, Beverly. And so for those of you who haven't played Quizlet Live, we default the names of the groups that are we sort you into into um, a bunch of animal names. So if you start a game, you'll see your students get sorted into sea dragons and ostriches and other things like that. Um, and I can imagine that if you're playing with a bunch of people in their early to mid twenties or thirties or continuing learners, that maybe they don't want to be um, emus or dolphins. So. Uh, we don't offer that option right now, but it definitely makes sense to give that um, as um, as an added feature or a customization. Um, so no promises on that, but I love the idea. And um, I see Matt sc scribbling down notes. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll look into it and try to see what we can explore. No, it's a great idea. And I, uh, we, we, we made a note of that, and it's definitely something that, uh, that makes sense. So thanks for the feedback. But really, who doesn't want to be an emu? <laughs> 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 while we're while while we're uh, while we're pulling up the next question, I'll, I'll also say for those of you who haven't had a chance to experience Quizlet Live, uh, you know it's been it's been a big success. We've heard a lot of great uh, great stories about how different educators are using this. And uh, as the last question said, not not just in in K through twelve classrooms, in college uh, college classrooms, community colleges, uh, you know night classes, etc. Uh, we've, we've heard from a lot of teachers that it's a great way to introduce new content. So the dynamic of Quizlet Live uh, brings people together in small teams. It, we, we built it specifically to drive collaboration, which is obviously so important uh, in, uh, in, in learning. And so it's not only a great way to review content as you're, as you're getting towards the end of a session, but it's a great way to introduce content. So we've seen a lot of success with educators using the using Quizlet the full life cycle of use Quizlet Live to introduce a set uh, of new content, then pass that content on to, to the students and they can use the various Quizlet modes and games throughout the study of that, and then use Quizlet Live as a fun way to review that content prior to assessment. Okay, it looks like we have time for one more question. And I see one from Caroline. She says, if individual teachers are already using Quizlet, can they transfer their classes and study sets when upgrading or when a school uses a group production? So that's a great question. When you, if and when you upgrade your account, um, you won't lose any of your content. And actually the reverse is also true. So if you use Quizlet Teacher for a year and then you don't uh, use it again the next year, all of your content will still be there. You won't lose any of it. Um, and so feel free to upgrade anytime and know that all of your study sets and content that you've already created will be there. And that's true for whether you're upgrading as a group 
or upgrading as um, an individual teacher. Um, so yeah, Ruth, do you want to give us a sort of a preview of what's coming up for the rest of the day? Sure. Um, what people can expect? Yeah, so Matt got into this a little bit um, in his presentation, but up next we have a presentation from Amalia about the specifics of the Quizlet teacher upgrade, um, which we're all very, very excited about. If from then on, we have a series of use cases um, and nuanced kind of adaptations of Quizlet that we've seen teachers use in their classroom. Um, and some of those teachers will be joining us today to kind of talk about uh, how they've suited Quizlet for their particular classroom needs. Um, some of the things that you can go up or you can look forward to seeing are a presentation on efficiency with Quizlet, um, a panel that will come together to both take questions and give presentations on how exactly they went about adapting Quizlet for their classrooms um, and the strategies that they used there. Um, and then we also have a couple of presentations um, showcasing our integrations. Um, the one, one we're very, very excited about is the one with Google Classroom um, that we have. We are in, integrated with Google Classroom. We will be having a rep from Google on the line to talk about it with us. Um, and also a teacher that uses it quite extensively in their classroom. So that's just a sample of what will be coming up today. Um, but if you join us in about 10 minutes after a quick stretch and coffee break, we'll be jumping right into the presentation about the Quizlet Teacher Upgrade. So hang tight and we will see you then. Thanks for joining everyone.